After the last two days, I, I actually think I'll be going to A and E at this stage because my heart <laughs> is somewhere. Well done to you all. How do you feel after that? Because particularly the last day, PJ, you pulled us back into the game when we seemed to be going out of it. How do you feel at the moment? Yeah, well, look, it's been it's been a panel effort all year. Like there's 35, 40 lads training there since November. You know, um, you know, we went up to Ennis. There wasn't many people giving us a chance. Um, we know we worked hard. We knew ourselves what we were capable of doing. We didn't really show it against Dublin. We, we knew what we were capable of doing, Tom. You know, so. We, we stuck at it, you know, and you know, we, everyone says we were unlucky not to get not to get the win in, in Ennis last week, so we knew we had to get back to the grindstone again today. And uh, you know, you've seen you've seen today what I meant to the people of Exeter, like it was just it was just unbelievable. I have never witnessed anything like that in my life, and I hope I witness more days of it now. To be honest, you know. Yeah. Were you aware of the atmosphere, PJ, on the pitch, or would you be aware of the crowd? I know that's a funny question um, to ask, but w w would it encourage you when you're on the pitch to wait for a crowd to be like it that? It definitely encourage you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you hear the roar. Like there wasn't. I suppose going back to Ennis, they, they were really up, they were really up for it. There was a big crowd from in Ennis, and we knew there'd be a big crowd down here today, and that really helped us on and helped us get over the line here today. And that's what that's what it was all about. Like you know, so big big thanks to the supporters as well. Things must be amazing within the camp at the moment, PJ, because I was just looking at, you know, we're probably using maybe 20 players in the last couple of games, probably with 21 or two players, yeah. and players seem so focused, whether they're coming on, going off or whatever, yeah. everybody just seems to be on the one line. You must have done an awful lot of work psych psychologically on all that, did you? Yeah, well, like, Liam has instilled us, like, we have to believe, like, you know, if we if don't believe in yourself, then, you know, you're not your you're second best. But, uh, you know, Cray has done a lot of work with us as well, like, and uh, Enda McNulty last year, and it's all building, it's all building processes, Liam keeps speaking about, you know, everyone, you're going to use 20 lads every day, it's, the lads have an awful, an awful job trying to pick the team. Team, you know, so there's going to be 20 lads used every day. So it's you know you're you're going to get your chance and you're going to get in. And you have to do your do the business when you're on the pitch. So that's the main thing. Is it going to be a big challenge now to get ourselves back to ground level? We've only eight days now to get ready for Waterford, so that's that is a bit of a challenge. But I'd yeah. say you're well up for it. Are you? Oh, we're well up for it, Tom. Yeah, look, you know we've won nothing. We've won a great game here today, but we haven't won anything. You know we want to push on. We want to win the next game. We're only focused on the next game, and that's that's the Waterford game. So. It starts now, like after we go down here now, get something to eat and recover tomorrow, and you know we're back back to training. Then probably Tuesday night, and we're all eyes focused on for the Waterford game. We know we have a huge challenge ahead against Waterford. They're, they have a great team. They've showed a great. They've been a great team for the last couple of years. So. You know, we're just looking forward to it, you know. Well, PJ, you've made an old man very happy and an awful lot of people oh, in Wexford very happy. Great. Well that's done great. today. Thanks, William. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.